Intellects do not believe in God, but they fear us just the same. Oh, oh no, 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 my cycle keeps rolling like a rolling stone. You know when the elders start humming, something is coming. Or maybe it's already here, and that's why there's so much fear. But it's not like people didn't tell you before. Number one, that America is such a whore. Slide from the very beginning about the history, about the build-up, about the making of it, about everything. Everything. All of that. All of that. All of that. From the pilgrims and how they came over here and how Columbus discovered America, something that was already here, and how black people only came here on slave ships. And, and just, I mean, it's just all been lies, and it's just going poofies. It's going poofies. I tried to tell you. I couldn't tell you nothing. What if I'm not such a crazy lady in my bedroom, in my pajamas, clearly starting my own movement and doing my own brand, just doing me? Remember? Remember several weeks ago when I said I was just going to like do my own thing from my bedroom? I was going to start a whole breast, a whole movement from my bedroom. And now everybody's in their bedroom or in their house or in their kitchen or, or, or whatever. They're isolating, doing things to try to make their life relevant. I've been isolating for years. Those who know, know. Did you ever wonder why? I mean, I think you knew why. I think you thought you knew why. But did you really know why? Did you think it was just per all oh, Val just she can't deal with people? I mean that's true. I can't deal with people that don't learn, that choose to burn. I don't have time for that pain. That should make you insane. Talking to people who do the same damn thing over and over and over and over and over again, and they never get ahead, but they want to take your head. When you're simply just trying to rise with them and raise them up in the process. But apparently they like their mess. And people need pain to learn. You mess with the wrong one. I'm such a nicer me these days. I really am. I, I have to give him credit. I don't, right at the moment, I really don't want to give him credit for anything. But I have to give him credit that he uh, calmed me down. He humbled me in, in, in a way to where my rage wasn't the first thing to come out. Because no one wants to hear when you're in rage all the time. Especially in times like this. I don't have time for anybody's fear. 
I don't have time for anybody's drama. I don't have time for anybody's preaching. I don't have time for any of that mess. I don't have time for anybody's videos. Don't send me your videos of what you learn and of what you think you know. Or isn't this something good when I've been saying this shit for fucking years? Get the fuck out of here with this mess. Why do y'all do that? You send me shit that I already know. That's why I decided to go. I had to grow. You can't grow with people who don't teach you anything and you can't teach them. It just doesn't work. It doesn't. Nothing good will ever come of that. Just a bunch of shit. You just, you know, living a life in a toilet bowl. I can't do that. I won't do that. I wasn't born for that. I don't know what program and narrative. You all are following, but that's not me. I was just an experience. I was just a moment to see if you could see who I was. I don't even know what I'm going to call it. There's a portion of me that thinks I should call this Jesus with the whips and chains, but no kinky sex, though. Because at the end of the day, people think with the lower selves. They think they're thinking with intelligence, but they don't. They don't. You've got some of the deepest thinkers right now who think they're so incredibly smart, and they're so incredibly bright, and they're so over everyone, but they're still so full of themselves. They still don't get it. You can't find the peace. You can't find the middle road. I think you love battling with pets. That was the wrong thing to say. I didn't even like that as it came out of my mouth. But you like to bat you like you you like to battle with people who you know right off the bat are beneath you. I'm gonna say it. You're beneath you you're beneath people of of higher level thinking. You are. Because you choose to be. It's not like they put themselves so high, like, oh, this person just over me. That person's over you because that person is over you, period. It just is what it is. Not the same lives, not the same styles, not the same thinking. Just because you hang with a banana, that don't make it an orange. You know what I'm saying? I mean, let's be real. There are a lot of people out there that want to be oranges. No, can't say that either. Nobody wants to be an orange right now. Orange is like, oof. God, you took one of my favorite colors and fucked that up. How do you do that? Because oranges actually are a good thing. But people who are orange colored... Right off the bat, the dye is wrong. And now people are like, oh, he knew, he knew, he knew the news. He knew, of course he knew. Of course he knew. All of this has been known. All of this has been spoken about. And I want y'all to get deeper. Yeah, the Bible talk about, you don't even know the fucking Bible. Miss me with that. No, I don't want to come in fellowship with you now. No, I want to come and talk about the Lord's God. I don't want to hang with you. No, 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 no. I've been trying to talk to you and, and, and raise your thinking for years, for decades, and you still stuck in the same narrative that kept the Hebrew Israelites walking around the same mountain over and over. What is it? 40 years, 40 years, 400 years, 4,000 years. It's still all the same. Not one person had the inkling to go, this is stupid. We're just walking around and going nowhere. The metaphor in the parable, but you never get it. You get stuck on stories. You get stuck on labels. And then you want to separate them and make up your own fables. And then you want to put and cast your tainted pearls to other people in other cultures saying, and this is why I'm better than you. God approved slavery. God approved this. God, God doesn't give a fuck. God's watching. God loves to watch. God loves to watch and see what you are going to do with the knowledge and see what you are going to do with the juice and see what you are going to do with the water. And most of you keep scrooching the pooch. And now we're here. And you want to say and show how we relate. See? See, this video, yeah, because I, I know you like it. You don't know what I like. You clearly don't know what I like. You know what I like. I like what I talk about because I'm getting direct channel. 
that shit is secondhand and thirdhand shit. I'm getting direct channel. None of that shit you say, you send me can save me. None of it. Is it saving you? Then why are you sharing it? Because you need a friend to say, yeah, I get it too. I'm so over that. I got that decades ago. Like I said, none of this is new. So stop sending me these videos like we're all the same. Watch mine. Since you're, since you're stuck in isolation, why don't you go to my YouTube channel, Val Jones the Oracle, and watch me. Some of you have been wanting me to come out for free. What for? When I was coming out for free, you didn't hear me then. How are you going to hear me now? Oh, because things have changed. No, you just need some juice. You just need some light. You just need some energy. I've had people say, I just want to, I just want to get, I just need to get your energy. I hear that. You need to get my energy, but what are you giving me? The same old rah, rah, blasey, blasey. Same old sacrificial lamb. I'm supposed to die for your sins. I'm supposed to die to help you make ends. I'm supposed to die because I want to be your friend when you're not even a friend to yourself. Because anybody who doesn't purposely want to grow is not a friend to themselves. When this is about evolution now, it's not about doing the same thing the same way. And if you're doing the same thing the same way, if you haven't found something new to do today, you're going to be left behind. That's just it. That's, a, that's, that's point blank it. I can't sugarcoat it. I mean, I could. A lot of people are, but... Would that be the truth? And right now, I believe, I believe, isn't that what Pisces do? I believe, just making sure too much is not showing. I believe that the brilliant youth are watching me for whatever reason. Maybe because some of you old folks ain't taught them shit. And maybe because some of these young folks ain't even legit. So they need something that's real. You say you're real, but again, how real are you, Christians? I'm calling you by name because you're the one who always gets stuck in your label. and You think everybody else is lying and everybody else should cater to you. You think you have the magic wand and you don't. You never had the magic wand. Ever. Ever. You don't even get your own story. You don't even get it. That's why the majority of your preachers will preach from uh, everything but Mark and Matthew. They'll preach the hell out of, a, of Paul. Let me clarify again about this Paul that you guys love to read about and talk about. Like he was the savior himself. He was a secondhand man. He was a Jesse Jackson to, uh, to, uh, to Jesus as Martin Luther King. Let me tell you something about Paul. Paul lied three times, at least by your books. I saw him. But I didn't hear him. I heard him, but I didn't see him. I didn't see a him, but I felt so. I don't know. I don't. I don't know what the third is. It, 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 it's, 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 it's like Trump. It gets bogus the more you say it. It's like, okay, you know what, nigga, I can't do it. Right. Already, already the pattern. Already the pattern. But you know what preachers do? They will preach the hell out of Paul. They will preach the hell out of a lie. See the metaphor? From the eye. They will preach the hell out of a lie. Or you will preach the hell of a lie. To all of you, and now you're here. If your faith was that valid, why are you so scared? Why are you so nervous? Why are some of you so jealous? You about to lose your money supply. You built your bank up on your congregation. And your congregation is poor and don't know what to do. And at the end of the day, all you can think about is you. How am I going to pay my bills? How am I going to pay this up? How am I going to get my food? You give this big show in front of your flock. But in reality, in your secret closet, you don't know what to do. Your faith is failing you because you're, you based your whole thing on a lie. And you want me to come and fellowship with you so you can get some of my energy. You're not getting my energy, nor my energy. Daddy says, stay in the palace, little girl. 
stay in the palace this time. Let them eat cake. Because what happens when I go out to the palace? I get crucified every time. I get underpaid. I get undercut. I get underappreciated. And I get overworked. For what? You're still the same. You've learned nothing. Now you come with your ideas. Ah! I want to do, I don't care what you want to do. Do it by yourself. I'm doing me. Creating my brand and my movement from my bedroom. Like I said I was going to do weeks ago. Months ago. Years ago. Whenever I decided to shut myself off from the masses. Because I knew the masses were never going to get it. He kept saying they'll never get it. They'll never get it. They'll never get it. They don't listen. They don't listen. But I had to try because, you know, you don't know till you know. That part, though. You don't know till you know. How many thought they knew me? When I was dumbing myself down because I knew you couldn't handle me. Mommy knew. That's what she was. I won't say mommy was like. She was not, no. She wanted me to stand out in so many ways. She did. My mom wanted me to stand out in so many ways. But one, like, no, they're not ready for that. Daddy didn't care. It's daddy's little girl. Burn it up, little girl. Burn it up. Go in there and start the fire. If they ain't got it, go start the fire. Light them up. Light them up. Give them that knowledge. But you try to raise a community and they always try to kill you. Something is wrong. Something is wrong. You have to put a break in that change. Am I my brother's and sister's keeper? No. I am my keeper. I keep self. I be the example of showing and getting wealth. I don't build with others who don't know how to build yet and who haven't even learned themselves. I have to teach me. I have to love me. I have to be me and all of me. That's what matters right now. Being one with yourself. Being one with your source. Being one without all of the distractions and the bullshit and the people who don't have a clue and act like they do. And you can and you may say, well, you don't know anything either. Then why are you here? And why do you come to me? I don't come to you. I don't come up in your synagogues and your churches and your open mics and your stuff going like, listen, you got to listen to this. Listen, you got, I don't give a fuck. I stopped doing that. I realized that, you know, <sighs> before my mentor died, Gil Scott Heron, I, I learned so much from him about how to let it go. He was a different man, you know, he was a different man in the end. He had done so much. I felt his trials and his struggles, and uh, his self-destruction, for the most part, because he loved, wanted to help others so much, it harmed him. Because you start taking on that pain. You got your own pain and shame, and then you start taking on everybody else's, and yours gets buried in the manure, the grave. That's why people always preach about the grave, the grave, the grave. Pastors always preaching, when you die, when you die, preaching to the grave. You preach more for that cemetery than you do for life. And then when someone comes in and says, there's life here on this planet. Heaven begins within. And there's life on this earth. Heaven can be on this earth but he because heaven begins within. But no, they don't want to hear that. They don't want to hear that because then they lose control over their flock. They flock, their flock will actually know how to live for themselves instead of needing them and paying them for a lie. Well, the grand equalizer has happened now. And we're all having to take a deep look at ourselves. We're all having to be stuck inside with ourselves. Take a deeper look at how do you really feel about people? How do you really feel? Even some of my white friends, I got to say, you love Trump so hard, then how do you really feel about me? 
knowing how he feels and treats black people and people of color in general. I don't think you love me at all. I think you would like to think that you do. But if you agree with what he thinks, then you know what? Then it's not true that you love me. And that's okay. You were raised differently. I, for, I forgive you for that. I mean, you know, I wasn't, I know, I know better, but it's your lesson to learn. But understand we can't all sing Kumbaya right now because everybody gets a turn to burn when you don't know the wisdom and won't even learn for yourself. Everybody needs help and needs to learn how to help themselves. Can you? Everybody has fear, but everybody can have love. It's a choice. But now you're all afraid to die. Listen, I lost that fear when I went to the hospital. If I had it. I mean, I, I was like, when I, when I went to the hospital and had blood pressure high enough to kill 10 cows. <laughs> and I got to say, too, I got to give him credit because he was like, you need to go now. I'm very disappointed in you if you don't go. I mean, I don't even know how this happens, you know. It just does in my life. But the synchronicity of things is amazing. I have no idea where this is heading. And I'm just going to, you know, like, work on me. And we'll see. I, I have no expectations at this. You cannot have expectations. When the earth is changing... It's like um, it's, it's, it's like an earthquake. When the platelets and everything start shifting and moving, they just move and everything moves with it. Everything, so everything, the earth is changing from within. It's not from out. The earth is, is evolving from within. Thank you, sir, and you helped. Kept poking that metal rod dick in Mother Earth and Mother Earth went, oh, is that what you do? You want to fuck mother all the time. You want to just fuck. You just want to pound mother. You just want to pound mother and think she's going to take it. She's going to take it. She's going to take it. Well, she strike back like the Jedi. And please believe that was in daddy's plan too because he was, he was watching. I told you, God loves to watch. So he's watching like, you're fucking my wife. You are pounding my wife with a big metal rod because you want to know the insides of her. You want to steal everything. You've stolen her children. You've stolen her lands. You've stolen her water. You've stolen her air. And now you want to learn about her grail. And you're going to pound your way to do it. Metaphors. But are you listening, though? True story. Trying to get the light right. Trying to get the light right. I'll pick up the phone. I talk over a lot of people's heads, apparently. I don't know. And again, it just could be a story that I'm telling you. It just could be something all in my head. But what if it's not? What if it's not? The irony is, you can tell liars because their lies change all the time, depending on the situation. Have I not been consistent with my story almost from day one? Like I knew. I knew before I even knew. Look at my eyes when I was a child. Look at my eyes when I was sitting in my mommy and my daddy's arms. I had eyes like I knew I was coming into a... I knew I was coming to a shit storm and I wasn't happy. Because I, uh, I'm not going to say my life was perfect. No one's life is perfect. What the fuck is perfect? There's no such thing as perfect. Not even in heaven is perfect. Because it's just like, it's the middle path. Heaven is the middle path. It's that nirvana. It's that peace. It's that where you can center and find yourself to breathe again and move on through whatever you need to. It's when you're in the dance... Because life is a dance. When you're in the dance and you get too extreme one way or the other in the dance, the point is to come back to the center where you can breathe, where you can connect with that one source that everybody has the opportunity to do that, but everybody doesn't do that. And what I have noticed, mankind, humankind gets mad when they see people who can do that because they want to do it so bad, but they want to do it in another way. 
They always want to control people, especially today. You want to control the parative, uh, I mean the parable. You want to control the narrative. You want to control the money. You want to control the pocket. You want to control everything. You want to control these babies. You want to make bots. From the military to these babies, you want to make bots. I suggest while you're in your isolation, you go look at the movie I, Robot again with Will Smith. Watch it again. You might get something out of it. And for the record, I loved After Earth. I thought that was a hell of a movie. But I was watching it differently. See, that's the point. When you watch things differently, when you have different eyes, you see different things. Now, the way I see things, the way you think I see things could be wrong. But I'm not the one singing the same old song. Remember when I used to be mad? Remember when I used to be sad? Remember when I didn't outwardly cry, but my cry, my my cry, my tears came through rage. It was a good thing that I cried, because if I didn't cry, that meant I was gonna kill somebody. See, that's me when I get at a certain point. I'm either crying because I'm so very sad, or something touches me in my heart, or I'm crying to keep from killing somebody. I didn't finish the story about the hospital, but I will in a moment. But for some reason, I, Spirit led me to go to this. There was a time, and I won't mention names, but there was a, 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 a radio person that thought that they were just the shit. I mean, just the shit and was shitting on everybody. People who think they're in power do that. <laughs> they do. They do. They get power hungry. They're not used to it. They, they come from a different perspective. And he hit me wrong one day. He clearly did not understand who I was or did not understand I understand who I was. You don't. And I basically went home saying, don't be here when I get back. And meant it because I was in a certain space. And I knew I needed to get away. And I went home. And I was contemplating, looking at my, looking out the back door in my kitchen on what to do. And this is when I know, one of the many times I know that source, energy, y'all call it God, that's such a limited box. Don't put God in a box. Don't put goddess in a box. That's the whole point. You don't know. You don't know. It's so much more. It's so much more for you to know. Why not learn that? Uh, as you're in isolation. Learn that whatever you thought about God and who God was or is, it's not. Learn more. But in any event, this is when, because, you know, if you if, if you do, you may become like me and get those real examples. You don't have to get the makeup ones like the preacher try to make you have so you can just, I like to testify today. But that, testi that testimony ain't working right now, is it? Because your testimony was a lie. But anyway, back to the story. I know I jumped from like a time lord, I leap from time to time. Um, I'm in the kitchen contemplating, what am I going to do about this? Because <laughs> it was just, hit me wrong for the last time, hit me wrong, played me short. Clearly disrespected, when clearly in the highest of festivities, and that must be paid for. That's just legacy. But again, I had to change my rage. And while, and this is the funny thing about rage, and I want you all to pay attention to this really closely, because you think it's going to be the loudest one and the angriest one who's going to come at you, who you should fear the most. The one that, that person's already telegraphing themselves. It's that one who gets quiet. It's that one who says nothing but watch. That you have to worry about. Even the record reps used to tell my program director. She's very passionate. When she's arguing about something. It's because, it's because she cares. But when she stops arguing. That's when you need to worry. Because she's getting ready to bounce. So anyway. Back to the story. So I'm sitting here. And at a point I realized my rage was gone. It was absolutely gone. I wasn't mad anymore. 
I felt nothing. When you're in hell, it's not that you feel everything. This is life. You're supposed to feel things. That's how you learn. You feel things. You don't lock your emotions away. People try to do that. That shit bounces back like a really bad boomerang. But no, you feel things. You feel these things because that helps purge out your poisons. That help purge us out those lies. That help purge us out those doubts. Should I be feeling? Yeah, feel how you want to feel. But then get through it. Get past it. What's on the other side of that? Back to the point. So I'm not mad anymore. I'm not feeling anything. That's when you're in hell. When you don't feel anything. You don't feel anything for yourself. You don't feel anything for anybody. You don't feel anything. You're just a bot. That's when the craziest, deadliest shit can happen. And I literally was in justifiable means to snipe this mofo. I mean, not snipe him, but, you know, handle business. And it was like all the ancestors and the angels around me, the ancestors hollered in my ear and the angels around me shook me and went, no, true story. Oh, my mom and daddy's brave. I was saved. No, this fool was, we both were saved. By some forces that knew better. Knew that that was not my role. That was not my life. That was a hardcore trick to take me off of my mission. And that's when I knew I needed to leave soon. And I did. There's reasons why I always leave. Because you don't want the other me to come out. When I'm done talking, I'm not going to slave for you. When I'm done talking, that means there's no hope in that situation. So I got to go. Just let you do you. You like being in a shit storm? That's on you. And the funny thing about it is all these people end up learning the hard way. That they mess with the wrong one today. People got to do that. And they may be mad right now, but they can't deny that what I'm saying is true. Some of you know y'all were there. <laughs> you were there. Anyway, so right now, there's a point of that. That you cannot deal with people who don't change. When I find myself stuck in a box, when I find myself trying to be controlled by lesser minds and lesser beings who do less for me, I bounce quickly. But right now, we're not even bouncing mode. We're in protection mode. We're in, I just don't fuck with y'all. Because daddy says no. Nope, 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 little girl. Want you in the palace for a while. Want you here. You don't need to go out and talk to him. You can talk to him right here. You can talk to him through this. Don't need to go out there in that mess. Because they didn't get it then. They probably won't get it now. Or they're scared. With all their Christian bravado, they still can't hear. They never could hear. They never heard. They never got it. They have to live this story out. You can't tell them. So welcome to your story. The truth of you. How's it feeling? Are all your wishes coming true? Is it everything you thought it was? Are you tired of blaming everybody and everything? Even that dummy in the office? He's all a part of the play. He's just as big as he thinks, as big as his ego got him thinking, he's just a little man and a much bigger plan to wake people up in such a way that you're going to have to admit today, I was lied to. And the biggest lie came from myself. All right. So what you going to do? But don't bring that raw, raw shit to me. I I don't give a fuck. I don't care. I really, I don't. I'm on another mission, on another level, doing other things. I'm not there where you are. That's where you are. That's not where I'm at. Don't be mad. We had our time. Come on now. But I got to get mine. I'm not here to get help you get yours. I got 
free your mind. So I'm being the example. Be an example. Be a better example. Or don't. It's a choice. It's your choice. Do whatever you want to. But don't think that I'm going to come through and help build you up. I've done that. I've been the free will. Goodwill. I gave at the bank already. Back to the hospital. When I died. When I was crucified. When I had high blood pressure enough to kill 10 cows. And they said, well, we got to get this down now. But the only problem is this situation is so critical that what we do might kill you too. So it was 50-50. And you know what my response was? Some of y'all responses would have been like, oh, Lord, I need all my prayer warriors around me right now. I need this. I need that. I was like there by myself. What's it by myself, though? I was there throwing like, it shocked them. I was there going like, oh, okay. And as people do, they explain it to you to make sure that you understand in their nicest way what they're saying. And I'm like, I got you. Okay. I mean, like, what am I going to do? That was not the time to feel like, Ooh. Stress brings your immune, your immune system down. Stress brings your immune system down. Stress can kill you. I have been under a lot of stress. I have taken on so much shit. A lot of mine. A lot that wasn't mine. And I just, pressure points. It was too much. The empath just, you know, imploded and exploded. She took on, too, it was too much download. It was too quick. It was, I was like the lady in the crystal skull. Remember I said, I don't want to be like the lady in the crystal skull where her head exploded. I was there and I had a 50-50 chance to let that shit go or to have my head explode. So I released it. Released it. Release myself off the cross, says whatever happens, happens. All right. I'm still here. Much to everybody's surprise or dismay, making a miraculous recovery. Notice I recover different than other people. <laughs> I keep telling you I'm not like you. There's a reason for the things that I do and who I am. I tell you, but you don't. You can't handle the truth. So you paint me in a picture of what you think I am or who you think I am. Okay. All right. But I'm just telling you today, no, I don't feel like chatting. But let's chat about it. No, I chat through my videos. I am in send the message out mode. I'm not in dialogue mode. You all dialogue. I'm dialogue over. I'm over the dialogue. I'm on a whole other level. Like it or not. He said, well, she just left people. I didn't leave anybody behind that didn't leave themselves behind. I didn't leave anybody behind that did not walk away the first place. Don't go there. Be truthful with yourself. Because God's sniping everybody that's not about the truth. What this is right now, it's a battle of truth. And some of you are lost in what you think is true. All of that will be revealed. All of that is being revealed. Doesn't matter what you say. Doesn't matter what you think. It is what it is. Point blank. It is what it is. Tonight on my show, Soul School Cafe. You want to talk about it? Let's talk about it tonight on my show, Soul School Cafe. The hippest troop is most eclectic vibe in the universe. Listen on Legend 107 Radio tonight at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Legend 107 Radio. Ask Alexa to play Legend 107 on TuneIn at 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Share this video. Since so y'all want to share videos and shit, y'all always want to share. Share this and make this go viral. Share this and make this. I share whatever I want to share and make that go viral because my videos right now are relevant to my world. Your videos aren't relevant to my world. Hate to tell you, but it's not. If it's relevant for you and it's helping you, then push that shit, push your agenda, push your videos till the cows come home. But do not push them my way because I have something and an important message to say, and that is a distraction. And you have distracted me long enough I gave you decades of my time to help you shine and help you grow. But I don't grow in the manure, yo. I had to go into the light. 
You got to grow upwards to get into the light. You can't just stay in the manure. Being honest, some of you like the manure. You can't even see that it's manure. You think that the manure is secure and it's not. It's time to grow up out of the manure. It's your choice to stay in the grave. It's your choice. It's your choice. You don't hear me though. You never hear. I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. I know. I heard it. Okay, I hear it. Yeah, she's doing it again. She's up here trying to preach to them again. Why did I do that? No. I'm just entertaining and edutaining. And if you want to say what? She's just lying. Okay. I don't care what you think. I really don't. I, re I used to. Because I used to wonder why they don't see them trying to help them. And it would hurt me that people like really didn't get it. And would and, and, and would and would just hardcore disrespect it. Now I'm like, my heart's dead to that. I'm grateful for that near death experience. I've had so many near death experiences. Be honest. Let's be honest. This is not my first near death experience. But that definitely could have been my last near death experience. I'm so grateful for that situation a month ago because number one, uh, I couldn't be going to Womack now, could I? <laughs> and number two, I damn sure won't gonna go to Cape Fear Valley. We all know Cape Fear Valley Hospital's a death trap. So, you know, I would have been dead. All my all, all my people that are, oh my God, they got her. They would have gotten me had I went to Cape Fear Valley. Shit, fucking no. Hell to the no-no. Nothing but horror stories there for a reason. They can paint that picture all they want to, but we know what that's about. And, uh... And I found me a wonderful doctor outside of the system, outside of Cumberland County. So all of this has worked to my good. Every bit of this has worked to my benefit. And I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that I've had all the falseness and all the lies and all the things I thought were important snatched away. Horribly, because I was holding on to shit. You know, holding on. Thinking all the people I helped would help me in my time of need. When I was about to be homeless. When I couldn't pay my bills. When I couldn't eat. When I couldn't do what I can do this and when I can do that. And people give you prayers, but they won't give you nothing else. They won't give you real support. They holler support, 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 support. They want you to support them, but they will not support you. So support yourself. If you've got that God, God is power and you, support yourself. I prove it every day. Hashtag the Oracle Parables. Hashtag daily receipts. Daily receipts. I prove this every Who do you think sponsoring me? Who do you think is doing for me? Who is doing all this? And you want to say, God, God ain't doing it without my help. Don't get that shit twisted. God loves to watch. God will let you do whatever the fuck you want to do. God loves to watch and want to see if you can rise in the glory of your own greatness, of your own image, of being one directly connected with the source and showing that you can tap into that source at any time that you need to, without the help of anybody, just you, you can manifest it from within. You can manifest it from your own strength, from your own heart, from your own mind, from your own soul. That is why the words are written. The kingdom of God is within. It's within you. It's not out there. Heaven ain't out there. Ain't up there. Ain't out there. You're looking for heaven to come in and save you. The aliens are going to come. and I'm not going to say they're going to save you. You believe in angels, but you don't believe in aliens. Same thing. Same thing. But you don't want to believe that. Okay, all right. Then, you know, you, you keep doing what you do. I'm not mad at you. I'm not. I'm over that. I'm not mad at you. Wasn't my right? I shouldn't have been mad anyway. Because this again, it's been written. This is this is an old story that continues to be played. But now it's time for a new story, new chapter, new thinking, new way of doing, and those old ways don't translate where I'm at. So I'll be, you know, from time to time, be giving you the good news from the palace. But I'm not coming out there where y'all are. Y'all crazy. You want to learn the hard way. I'm not here to save. No, we're not the same. Get that out your head. We're not the same. Look at you. Look at me. We're not the same. No one's the same. There's nothing wrong or right by that. It's just no one's the same. Everybody's unique in their own spirit. Everybody's supposed to be unique. Every plant, every flower, every tree, everything is unique. 
The universe makes everything unique and in their own lane. It's when people try to control your lane and try to make you the same as them where the difficulty comes. I've said so much. I've said a Bible, haven't I? Some people are wondering right now, so is this the end? Yeah. But the apocalypse, the apocalypse is not quite as bad as you think. If you think. If you're true. If you've actually leveled up and become a better you. If you're still the same, well, you know, then you get to pay. That's just how it is. I mean, I get I, that. Those are rules I can't change. That's a universal law. Hashtag sacred geometry. I will keep reminding you about the uh, the only Bible you need. Don Miguel Ruiz of Four Agreements. You up here trying to follow 10, 12, 100, 1,000, whatever. You know, commandments to whatever. And it's just four things that make sense. Can you do four? Don't impress me with how well you follow. You None of you are not following. You all are coveting wives and, and coveting people's shit like crazy. The main ones who's talking about that shit, dude, don't let me start calling. I don't even care to call names. And that's the thing I could never understand. Why people want to fuck with me when I know your story? Like, I won't say it, but I won't. But you know what? I've got too much class for that. That's why I would cry. Because they will poke the devil's tail. No, I didn't mean to say the devil. They will poke the tiger's tail. Well, I guess I am the devil to them. They will poke the tiger's tail and poke and poke and poke and poke and poke the bear. Pull the tiger's tail like the tiger's not going to turn around and bite back. Love is love. But love will bite back when it's not love. That's a fact. You learn. Love teaches. That's enough. Soul School Cafe tonight. Soul School Cafe tonight on Legend 107 Radio. Tell a friend, have a party. Well, you can't have a party. <laughs> call each other. Do do uh, what you call it, like like group calling or whatever. And like y'all have a like everybody's listening together, so you can have like a kumbaya thing like that. Legend 107, uh, Soul School Cafe, 10 p.m. Eastern Time on TuneIn. Very important message. Very, very, very important message. If you miss it, that's your ass. <laughs> I don't. I'm, I'm not coming back. You know, that's your message. No. And again, let me again. I don't need to collab with anybody, be on anybody's agenda, or help anybody with their shit. I don't care what your plans are. You don't have. Let's be real. You don't have any plans right now. No one has plans right now. All your plans have been canceled and you got to do something new. So don't got, I got this out. You don't have an idea. You don't have plans right now for what we can do. We can't do shit. You should have been planning this for you for a minute. I've been on it. I've been on top of it and on it. Now you want to come. We can do, we can't do anything. You didn't learn. You haven't grown. You're still doing the same. Oh, rah, rah, woozy, woozy, wow, wow, shit. No. No. What part of no don't you understand? Well, she's not talking about me. Yes, I am exactly talking about you. I'm talking about everybody who doesn't get it. And that includes the ones who think they get it, but you don't. Just watch. Listen, shut the fuck up, turn the news off, and listen to the good news. Or don't. It's a choice. I'm a choice. You can grow with me or you can get the hell out. But there are no other options. There will be no layovers. When Noah closed that door and sailed off, that was a done deal. You're right there. I can see clearly now the rain has come. The collective's going to be wilding out today. Just letting you know. That's how we play. Bye, y'all. Waving at everybody. Love you, Freddie. 
Pat, Christina, all right. Y'all want to do some push my videos for a change. Push your good news. Or not. You know, just watch and support. But don't be pushing your shit to me. I'm not here to push your shit. I'm here to push my message and my story. And I'm supposed to because I'm the daughter. And I matter. I matter. Woo! What she just said. Gotta go. That too.